so today, we are giving a developer preview of OS 4, iPhone OS 4, the next major release of the iPhone operating system. We've been working on this for a while. It's pretty great. And we're going to ship it this summer. And we're going to release a developer preview today. So let's get into it. iPhone OS 4 delivers over 1,500 new APIs to developers. A lot of stuff that developers have been asking for. Developers can now access the calendar, the photo library. They have full access to still and video camera data. Quick look. They can put SMS inside their apps. We are releasing our automated testing tools, the same tools we use to test our apps to our developers, so they can test their apps with them. And we're releasing a framework called Accelerate, which is in itself, actually, we don't count these APIs in the 1500, over 2,000 APIs for hardware accelerated math functions. So if their application is heavy into math, they can really take advantage of this. And these are just a few just a few of the over 1,500 APIs that they're going to have in iPhone OS 4. In addition, there's over 100 new user features. And again, here's just a few of them. Users can now create playlists on their phone. We've added a 5x digital zoom in the camera app. You know how you can tap to focus when you're taking a still picture? You can now tap to focus on video. Every iPhone, every, every photo taken on the iPhone is geotagged, and we've added places in the photo app now so you can see where they were taken. You can change the home screen wallpaper. It's been a huge request that we've gotten. Uh, you can use Bluetooth keyboards. And uh, we've added a spell checker, which is really nice. If you misspell a word, it'll underline it. You just tap it, and it'll give you the rec what it thinks might, uh, what you might have wanted to type. You can uh, gift apps. This has been a big request, too. So you can buy an app and gift it to somebody right from your phone. So again, these are just a few of the end user features, over 100 of them, in iPhone OS 4. Now, of those, we're going to talk about seven today. We call them tentpole features. Uh, we don't have time to talk about all 100, but we're going to talk about seven of them today. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the first one, which is uh, probably going to be the biggest one. And that is multitasking. <laughs> now, we weren't the first to this party, but we're going to be the best. Just like cut and paste. Other people had cut and paste before we did, but everybody, it's, I think, widely believed that we just nailed it uh, with the way we did it. And it's much better than, than any other implementation. I think we'll, people will think the same about multitasking. Because it's really easy to implement multitasking in a way that really drains battery life. These apps start running in the background, and there goes your battery. And it's really easy to implement it in a way that reduces the performance of the foreground app and makes your phone feel really sluggish. So if you, if you don't do it just right, your phone's going to feel sluggish, and your battery life's going to go way down. And people have experienced that a lot. We figured out how to implement multitasking for third-party apps and avoid those things. And that's what took us a little longer, but I think we nailed it. So what I'd like to do now is demo it for you so you can see what it looks like for the end user. We've got a great user interface for it. And um, I think you'll like it. So I've got a phone here with a cable to the projector. and. Um, just slide to unlock. You can see I've got uh, my wallpaper up there. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and, and launch mail right off the dock there. And uh, so here I am in mail. I'm going to look at a mail message. And uh, this mail message has a, uh, has a URL to a website. So I'm going to go to that website. And I just click on it. And I'm taken to the browser, right? So far, this is what we do every day on an iPhone. And here I am at this uh, Mount Kilimanjaro website. Now I want to go back to reading my mail. I'm done looking at this website. What do I do? I could navigate back to the home screen and then click on mail again. 
But rather than that, I can just double click the home button and the window raises up and it shows me all the apps that are running. These are all the apps that are running and I want to go back to mail and I go right back to where I left it. I want to go back to that web page. There I am, right back at the web page. Very simple. Very, very simple. So now what I want to do is I want to go to eBay uh, to check on an auction I'm following. I can just tap on it. And again, I go right to where I left off in the apps. So here I am on eBay where I left off. I'm checking my auction. And uh, now I want to go play a game. Let me go play Tap Tap Revenge. And Tap Tap Revenge gives me a countdown. It keeps me where I was, but it gives me a countdown of... Uh... All right, I'm not winning here. So I'm... again, the game stops. And I can say, great, let me go back and look at mail here. Check mail out. I've been playing a game for a while. Oops, that was the website, sorry. Let's go to mail. There's mail right there. OK, I don't have any new mail that I need to look at. So let me go back to my game. And again, it's going to take me right back where I left off. Three, two, one. Pretty cool, huh? And again. I can go home anytime I want just by clicking the home button again. And boom, I'm home. All right, make sense? Really simple UI. Puts the icons of all the apps that are running right at the bottom where I can just flick them with my thumb right here. And it's very, very easy to use, very efficient. And we think users are going to love it. Also, you can see the new look of the dock right there. And again, custom wallpaper. So. That is our multitasking UI. And it's really wonderful. We've been using it a lot, and it really changes the way you use the iPhone. You're bouncing around between apps just with, with tremendous fluidity. It's very, very nice. So to explain how we did this while preserving battery life and performance, I'm going to turn it over now to Scott Forrestall our senior vice president of iPhone software. Scott? Thank you.